What is going on guys, Wyzer here, and I am bringing you the next Fix My Mess cleanup episode for One Hive Labs. Uh, very, very interesting uh, style of cleanup episode. This one um, was such a close attack, but was done completely different. And of course, I had a terrible war. This was kind of the, uh, <clears throat> this was my first attack. Uh, it was not a first hit. Uh, I much prefer doing uh, first hits for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I struggled with this one. Uh, you're going to see what a heartbreaker this was for me. Uh, things did not go the way that I had hoped they would have. Uh, the one building, if you can believe it, out of this whole base, the one building that actually screwed me over big time was this lab right here. I should have recognized it as being a threat to what my plan was. Just to quickly go through what my plan was, I wanted to queen charge down into this alleyway. There is a Tesla here and a double giant bomb in between the sweeper and the Tesla. I knew of that. I wanted to pull the CC out. I wanted to take out all those buildings to uh, neutralize that double giant bomb. Once the queen was in there and CC was pulled and all was fine and dandy, I did bring a cold-blooded golem, uh, six Valks, uh, and my king that I was going to drop right everything right on this mortar with the jump spell over this corner. Uh, every, there are three more Teslas in a row right here in front of the Wiz Towers. Uh, so I was just going to send in the Valks, the king, the golem to take care of the queen, take care of that little Tesla farm. I was going to drop the a heel over the jump, keep everything alive. Then once all of that was down, that meant all I had to do was deal with this section and this section with the hogs. I was, it was not revealed in the cleanup, but I was 99.99% positive, and I was right that the other double giant bomb is between this expo and cannon here. So the goal was if the queen had taken out most of this, I was just going to need maybe uh, six or eight of the 16 hogs coming from this side to get to that expo and take all that down. And then I was going to send the rest in eight or ten hogs for on this mortar just to take out these defenses. And it should have been GG at that point. But you're going to kind of see what happens. Like I said, this lab screws me big time because the queen steps up and doesn't even look at that arch tower. Uh, but let's check it out here and see how this plays out. Doing time to do this a little bit. Minion go down, help uh, kind of create that funnel. So everything's looking pretty at this point. I even drop a whiz to help kind of push through this clank, uh, the town hall, a lot of high hit point shit there. So, and you're gonna see here in one moment, as soon as this gold source goes down, I waited till that arch tower locked on and then boom, my whiz tower goes down and kind of help create. I drop that hog in there to start taking down this uh, uh, archer tower, drop the raise to push everything through and watch this. The arch tower didn't go down. Just in time, just a little bit more. Boom, right there. She was standing up there. You're telling me that arch tower is not closer than that lab to where she, I mean, she's moved towards it now. She was standing at least two tiles back up. That's a bunch of crap if you ask me. Stupid freaking queen. But if I had just dropped a freaking wizard on that lab instead of in that corner and that lab had went down first, she would have went back and into the middle. So that was completely my bad, stupid. Is what it is so she doesn't die or anything but you're gonna see how this plays out and it's so unfortunate so as soon as I see that going down I'm like ah crap and here comes the CC in such a bad kind of location because there's all those skeletons down so I get the poison out anyways really didn't want to take hits from the P.E.K.K.A. or the wizard I was hoping I was gonna nail through that P.E.K.K.A. before I had to hit the ability but I had to unfortunately he got there in time so I took down the P.E.K.K.A., but the problem was I'm engaging the CC rate when the healers were in range of that air defense. So that's what screwed me right there. But anyhow, as you can see, Golem goes in, right? That whole that funnel's already been created. Jump goes down. Everything's still going to plan. Heal goes down. Vox go right in. Smack down that queen in no time. King's going to take care of that Tesla farm. Everything's just going to rip through the high DPS section here. Valk's even kind of trail off, do a little bit of cleanup, but no big deal. Three Wiz are going to jump in and help out. So all of this is going great. It's all going to plan still. I was like, you know what? I might still be okay because this queen's going to step up, take out that sweeper so the hogs are, gonna, are not going to be in danger. But then kind of watch how this plays. I... I re instead of going from this side, I went from this side to maybe to try and protect the wizards and the king. Um, so I kind of readjusted on the fly. And I just wanted to pincer her in, but boom, that spring trap really hurt me. I lost those hogs to the spring trap, did not bust through that uh air defense in time, and then the cannon started taking out those wizards, so I didn't lose that wizard, and then bam, as soon as the hogs get through this expo, you're gonna see some bad news bears for them. 
Bam, bam, see you later, clean up hogs. But at this point, I'm like, damn, I'm close. If I just had those hogs, I might be okay. But keep in mind, there is a double giant bomb here. The queen, if the queen had the healers on her and didn't get stalled out where the air defense was attacking the healers, she would have been fine, would have busted through this clan castle and that Tesla, no problem. But of course, she locks onto the Tesla or the clan castle first, not the Tesla, even though if you look to me, Still, that Tesla should have been closer, but whatever. Is what it is. The queen is dead. At this point, I'm like, shit, I got 40 seconds to go. I'm going to fast forward this a little bit. There is a hole up here, right? So as soon as this goes down, I'm like, I might be okay. I got a wizard there. I got those val that valve going in. So the valve goes in and triggers a bomb early. I'm like, yeah, that's great. But keep in mind, there's one more bomb there. Oh, my gosh. Seven seconds. The wizard dies. Doesn't get a shot off. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh. So keep in mind, if that freaking lab had went down and the queen had just went up the alleyway like I had freaking planned, I think that was an easy three star, but um, is what it is. Two stars, heartbreaker. We're going to check out how Frankie boy decides to go in and get the job done here and clean up my mess. So <clears throat> here's a different, so I had a, that was a 99%, like that was a really close attack. Now it was a few different prongs of attack. I mean, it's not necessarily the easiest attack to mimic, but really I think if you did the same thing and just took down that lab and pushed everything into the middle, it, it definitely would have been a three star, but uh, Frank says, you know what? I got a better plan. Uh, and I like when this happens because far too often, this is why I find I don't, I'm, I'm not a cleanup guy. I'm a first hit guy. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing a cleanup, I really am just focusing on the other guy's plan and how I can make that plan better. When a lot of the times, just a whole new plan is better. It, it just works better, right? So this is what Frankie does here. Six witches. How often do you see this? Like it's like a go, uh, a go ho, go ho we, a go we ho. <laughs> uh, so brings the six witches, the two golems, just going to go in standard straight up right at this Tesla farm is going to recognize that the witches are going to get big, big value with this huge alleyway and just let all the troops in one jump, one rage, two heals. Let's check it. How Frankie does this. <clears throat> so goes ahead and drops the first golem. Just got to take out that mortar. Uh, you know, and he's still using the replays to recognize where he gets free buildings, where the traps are. Um, he's still using our fails to his advantage, um, even though the plan is very different in, in a whole, right? I, I don't know if that makes sense, but you can really tell he was using um, using the knowledge of there's no traps over here. The minions I had dropped were fine. The previous attack, right? These are all pretty much free buildings until they get up there. Um, so you see all these witches going in. Now, this was my concern was that there are two wizard towers behind a wall there, right? So that could be super deadly for witches, but those, those golems are just doing huge tanking. And the queen steps up and takes out the wizard towers without the witches getting touched. So the six witches are going to continue to get huge, huge, huge value here. Still is the 18 hogs. Hasn't even deployed his king yet? No, <laughs> he hasn't. There goes the king, kind of dropping in behind. He's going to walk the king right into this section where that jump is. Out comes this little P.E.K.K.A. and uh, and wizard. Uh, it's going to walk straight over to the king. Has the poison spells that are about to get drops, or maybe just doesn't drop poison spells. No big deal. <laughs> king is in there under rage, just whacking away at that P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. is just struggling with the witch's skeletons there, right? So that's the big problem. But you can see they got stalled on the wall, and that one wizard tower just shredded them. That's what I was afraid was going to happen there. Does not happen to Frank, though. Drops three hogs to trigger that double giant bomb. The queen in there doing cleanup. Frank just recognizes now, as long as he can keep his queen protected on this outside doing cleanup, he is golden. So uh, just kind of using these hogs to his advantage. Going to drop a few more in here. Yep, boom, there they go. Just really wants to start ripping down the rest of this. Has to take down that expo before the queen dies. Heel goes down, overlapping the queen and the hogs. I thought that was beautiful read there. King's in there coming in now from the other side doing some cleanup. Just really, really reads the space well. Three more hogs drops on this mortar. Make sure nothing gets yanked to the outside. Everything's going to continue on to those last compartment of defenses. The golem solos that Tesla over there and takes out the DGB by himself. So nice job there. Just beautiful read on this. Cleanup wizard in the corner. A few more hogs going in to take care of the expo. Poisons go down, take care of the skellies. Nice freaking cleanup, Frank.
Good job, my friend. Way to fix my mess. That's how she's done. Six witches sometimes does the trick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, beautiful. Sometimes guys don't get focused, even though the attack prior was a 99% with one, maybe two swipes of his king left. You know, 99.75%. That does not mean you have to copy that attack and just try and tweak it. You, there, there could be a better plan. So go with your gut. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, guys. Even though it's a cleanup, it is a lot. It is very wise to use a 99% replay the best to your advantage, but that does not mean you have to mimic the army completely or even close, right? You can just bring, like Frank Frank decided, the open alley, you can bring one jump, a couple breakers, and, and it's going to really open things up for his witches. Um, you know, uh, just just fantastic job uh, rereading that, Frank, and uh, deciding what I'm going to bring. So, way to fix my mess. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, going to try and pump out a few of these, like I said. I mean, I'm not doing them for every war, but definitely trying to slide these in more and more and more. Uh, more specifically, when I have a fail and uh, I see a really nice cleanup afterwards, I'm always going to try and show those. Um, or even vice versa sometimes, right? Like I showed in the last one where I cleaned up someone else's. Uh, yeah, so hope you learned a little bit here, guys. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.